Hey guys, it's Samantha, and in my last video, I show you how I took a plain scrapbooking storage cube and turned it into a customized velvet lined jewelry box. In this video, I'm showing you how I wrapped up the project by doing a mosaic of scrapbook paper decoupaged onto the exterior and added some great multicolored knobs to round out the look. Here's how I did it. First thing is you have to pick out your scrapbooking paper. For me, this is the hardest part because picking out the colors, it's just, there's so many options. Once you have your scrapbooking paper picked out, take your scissors and start cutting out random pieces for each piece of paper. Don't get too finicky about this part. The more diverse it is, the better. Once you're done, you'll be left with little bits of each color. Next, you'll need some Mod Podge. I wanted this project to be nice and durable, so I used the specialty hard coat Mod Podge, but you could probably just use the regular kind and it would be just fine. I also made a lot of use of the Mod Podge squeegee tool. This is to get a nice, even, non-bubbly look. And then I just used a regular paintbrush to paint the Mod Podge on. Next, just like a puzzle, I started arranging the pieces on the box. Again, no right or wrong way to do this, just arrange it to your satisfaction. Once you've got the arrangement, start gluing the pieces on using the Mod Podge. Less is more in this situation. Use a squeegee to remove any excess and all bubbles. Once they are all secure, start applying Mod Podge all over the surface of the box to seal in all the pieces, trying to maintain brush strokes in the same direction for a nice polished look. In between coats, I actually used a blow dryer to help the coats dry faster so I wouldn't have to wait around for a long time waiting for each coat to dry. It worked really well for me. I ended up doing about three coats. I then repeated this process on the other two sides. I waited about 48 hours to let it cure completely before I gave it to my friend. The next step was to remove the boring knobs that came with the scrapbook box and replace them with some fun, cute, coordinating knobs that I found at my local Hobby Lobby. I think it really helped round out the look. This is the final product and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think that what I love about this project is that you could do this mosaic on anything, not just on this. You could do it on a canvas, you could do it on a poster board, you could do it on any kind of um, piece of furniture that you might have around that's kind of boring and needs a little bit of a spruce. The options are endless and the colors are endless because of the endless amounts of scrap moving paper and whatever else you can think to decoupage onto your piece of furniture or artwork. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Also, if you like the full breakdown of all the supplies that I used on this project, you can visit my website, samanthacamilos.com. You can also follow me on any of my multiple social media sites, which I'll link in the down bar. Don't forget to keep dreaming and find the awesome in every day. Bye. In fact, I may try that. Let's try that in our drawer. Okay, so I've got all my pieces covered and they're in here and I haven't glued anything in yet. Now it's all pretty secure and if you wanted to stop at this point, honestly, it probably would be okay. 